In the first part of this Thailand scrapbook post of video series, I showed you how I made these seven layouts in this small album. And in this second part, I show you how I'm taking everything apart to put it in a completely new system. Hello everyone, this is Stephanie from Little Steffi Big World. Welcome back to the second part of my Thailand scrapbook album. You will find a link to the first part in the video description below or on my channel. That's where I show you how I made these seven layouts in this small album and I also tell you why I'm absolutely not happy with it. So I'm cutting everything out of this ring album and putting that to the side and leaving it for another project. I have this box here. This is what I use to have all my pictures and my travel memorabilia in the right order so I can take everything out to work with it page by page. So this is where everything is going back in. And this is the album that I'm going to be using. It's from the Storyline collection from Heidi Swap from 2016. It says take it easy on the cover. And it's got this little envelope um, inside, which I like very, very much. It's got two pockets, so I can put some smaller travel memorabilia in there that I got back from my travels. And it's got 14 of these um, 11 by 8 inch pockets, so it's nearly A4 in, in European uh, standard sizes. So it gives you 28 pages. Now, I thought I could do, you know, page by page and work out of my box, you know. So I'm doing that first layout, which I'll show you later on in this video how I made this. But then I decided, no, I have to take everything into these pocket pages to see if everything fits into these 28 pages. So I'm taking everything out, all the pictures, um, the first seven layouts that I did, um, taking everything out and deciding if one or two pictures are coming back to, together into one. Now for this layout I actually made a pocket behind the picture and I'm taking that um, apart because uh, in this page pocketers I can't make it as interactive with all the tickets and brochures and everything. Also here on this layout I made a flip with washi tape and used this postcard so you can open it up and then I put a clip uh, there so I can put the tickets so I'm taking that apart as well because um, that's not gonna work in a page protector I can't make a flip there and put a clip I can't take it out every time I want to to look at it so I need to find a different solution to make it a little bit interactive uh, or how I'm going to be using those travel memorabilia so I'm going through the box I'm gonna fast forward the video here a little bit so you see everything is going into these well, 14 page protectors, all the pictures, all the travel memorabilia and then when I'm coming to the end um, I'm actually at the point of our 14 day trip where we are arriving in Bangkok. So these are the pictures of when we arrived there, the first day, the first night. But I still have pictures and travel memorabilia from the three days I think that we spent in um, Bangkok before we flew back. So I need about four more pages um, to actually put everything in it. So I'm going through all the pages again and deciding, okay, I'm going to put these two pictures onto one page. That's going to free up one, um, one page for me. So everything needs to move forward. All the, <laughs> everything needs to, to be taken out again and put in into the front. This is actually some pictures of our cooking class. And then I'm having this picture of my husband and I'm thinking, oh, maybe this doesn't need to go necessarily into that album and then I'm also taking these two pictures together and so on so in the end I am able to make uh, four more pages so I can put the pictures of our days in Bangkok there and our flight back and that's where I'm gonna be using that picture of my husband so the box is empty I'm gonna put that to the side I have a map here that I taken out of an atlas that's gonna be the first page and I always do the first page and the cover page um, very very last so let's start with the second page of that album so it's actually these two 
pages that I already did and I'm putting them together. It's when we flew from Germany via China, in within China we actually had two stopovers before we arrived in Chiang Mai in Thailand. So when you've ever had a transfer in China, you might know that they stamp you, stamp your ticket on every checkpoint and you have a lot of checkpoints within an airport in China. So I kept these transfer tickets from our luggage and also the tickets uh, from us, you know, our transfer, our two different uh, planes. And I'm trying to use that date stamp there of these pages from this storyline Heidi Swap collection where you can put the, the date of that um, particular event that you are um, putting on that page. But then I'm deciding, no, I need the full page. That's why I actually changed you know, from a small scrapbook to a bigger scrapbook. So I have more space to do scrapbooking. So I can put my pictures, my travel memorabilia and loads of other things like papers and washi tape and stickers and whatever else, you know. So I'm using the whole pages except the bottom. Every page has this gray stripe at the very, very bottom. So I'm leaving a little Little bit of that on every single page. Other than that, I'm covering this with um, the, the plane tickets, the transfer tickets from our luggage and the SIM card that we got in Thailand. I'm making a frame with washi tape here and putting some pattern paper here and there, uh, deciding where the title should go and the space for the journaling because I don't have pictures of us in the flight or at an airport anything so it's just going to be a lot of journaling there on that uh, second page of the album so I don't have to do a lot of journaling on the other pages because I actually struggle a little bit with journaling actually journaling on every single layout isn't really for me so I'd rather have that big page there you know, where I do a lot of journaling of our first um, part of the uh, of the journey. And I'm gluing everything down, also the SIM card, normally I would use some, some stronger glue so it doesn't fall off, but because it's in a page protector I'm happy with just gluing it with normal um, sticky glue. So, I'm also showing you a second layout here. We went to the White Temple um, in Chiang Mai and this uh, second layout of that white temple is of some details uh, of within the temple so I'm deciding on a background and on a matting for these two pictures but I want to do some more, I want to have something in the background, I want to have this flowery um, pattern paper here but I am not completely happy with it so I'm corner rounding that just to, to make it I don't know, maybe just to make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm putting that in behind the um, matting of the of the papers and I still need something more. Yeah, so I decided for a title and I need some place where I can put the title. I'm going through my scraps and they are fairly organized for this project. I have them in piles of different sizes uh, around um, the uh, the actual layout, so I can go to the stripes or the bigger ones or the square scraps that I have. So I'm deciding on a little brown square here and some brownish, uh, more autumn-like uh, pattern paper um, that I'm going to put at the top and at the bottom. But then I'm going for this lighter square. That's where uh, my title is going to go. So I'm happy with the rough layout and I'm gluing everything down. I'm also using some washi tape for the framing here and I'm also leaving a little bit of the grey stripe that comes with the uh, pages of this uh, album collection, leaving that there. So everything is glued down, now I'm punching some stars out. I, I'm actually putting some foam dots um, on behind um, or, or on, the, on the stars to give the whole layout a little bit, a little bit of dimension. It's a little bit hard in a page protector to, to make it thick, you know, to make it um, come off a little bit uh, so it's not all completely flat and boring. Um, so I'm not going overboard with it. I'm not putting foam, to uh, foam pots on, on the back of the pictures or anything, just on these little dots. 
So, I am deciding on the title, so I'm just making sure I have all the letters that I need. And the title is going to be Small Things. And I'm starting with the A of small, so it's in the middle of, um, of, the, of the paper scrap. And putting the letters uh, in the front and in the back, so that's the word small there. And then the word things, because it's got one more letter, it's going a little bit off, so it's starting a little bit to, to the left. Now I'm cutting this to the, to the size that I want to have it and then I'm using actually a really really cheap black ink pad and going around the edges so it gives it a little bit of a distress look. I don't have distress inks, I don't have any distress tools, I'm just using this every now and then and as I said I use this really really cheap ink pads because if you're doing this distressing, you know, going over the edge of paper, it can, um, you know, torment the ink pad a little bit. So it, it wears out a lot faster. Now I'm putting some word stickers from this alphabet collection that I have there. So I'm putting two um, on the two pictures that I have and then I'm placing those um, punched out stars with the foam dots uh, in the back. So three are going around the title at the top right uh, part of the layout and the other three layer stars are going to the bottom left part of the layout. So, I'm very happy with that, so that's gonna go into the album. Now, I do have another video which is called a sneak peek on my Thailand album where I show you two more layouts, the first layout of that white temple and another one. And in the third layout, or let's say, no, not the third layout, the third part of this album, it's gonna come, come soon, I'm gonna show you how I make some interactive elements, even though I have page protectors, and I show you um, a little bit of how I'm doing my journaling there. And after that, I'm showing you the complete flip through of this amazing album. I'm really, really proud of it. So stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, give this um, video a thumb up if you like, and see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.